Hey everyone, it's Wynn Saldani with a Sunday morning update to the 2019 Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac. Uh, this is the tracker as it currently lays out. We've got, this is our cruising division up here, uh, ranging from sort of just north of uh, Big Sable Point all the way to almost the entrance to Gray's Reef. This is White Hawk um, in the lead. They were going like uh, 0.1 a little while ago. They're going 7.1 now, so we have a little bit of breeze up there. That's good. Uh, Infinite Diversion's going 4.8, not quite as fast. And... Um, if we look back here, this is the racing um, division coming up. And um, just, I'll back it up just a touch here, just so we can look kind of what happened overnight. So you can see the cruising division kind of has not made a lot of headway. Most of them must have been very, very light winds. You may still look at these guys turning sideways sort of, right? The racing division goes for a little while. Looks like they're beating. Some of them are on starboard tack. Some of them are on port tack. And uh, right now they're all heading, looks generally north. Um, the really interesting thing to me about the racing division is in a normal race in a normal year, we would see this red line here is the rum line, right? It's the shortest distance between the points in the race. We would see the racing division kind of equally distributed around this rum line, um, more or less. I mean, it depends, it depends on the situation, but all things equal, you want to sail as little distance as you can. We clearly have a case where people are off on the left-hand side of the rum line here. Um, very, very much on the left-hand side of the rum line. Um, in fact, we have someone sociable way over here on the coast, which is a heck of a heck of a pull and worth, it's, it's worth watching actually um, how that evolves because that's a that's a huge split in this race where it's usually the best bet to do is a little distance as you can by going up the rum line, but that's that's what that's not what's happening here. So we have a, a an interesting trend um, in the fleet. We'll watch that as it plays out. Speeds of the fleet are still okay, four and a half knots, five and a half knots. Those aren't great for, you know, a 43-foot boat or I think, a, you know, Transpac 52 going 5.6 knots is not what we would normally hope for. Um, but it's not, you know, a dead stop. Um, what are they going to face and what's so interesting about the left-hand side of the lake? So this is Lake Michigan. This is a model called the NAM, the North American model. Um, this is the current situation. And our racers are around right here, as you may remember, and you can see there's just a little bit of breeze still going on um, right here. It's not a lot. It's maybe a little bit less than 10 knots, but it's something, and it's keeping them moving. And then nothing going on where we see a lot of the cruising division kind of parked right now. And it looks like the models are hitting that there's just a little whisper of breeze um, up here where White Hawk is, which is why we're seeing them pick up some steam. So I think that this model is fitting really, really well with the race environment. Let's just sort of play things forward and see what happens. So I'm just going to go forward a couple of hours, and this is about uh, 1 p.m. this afternoon. And what I want to point out for you is, so we have some breeze here, and we have breeze up by the island. I think White Hawk is probably going to finish somewhere, you know, this afternoon. Infinite Diversion will probably be not that 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 far um, behind them. Here's the interesting thing, though. The, the racing fleet, see we have breeze over here on the Wisconsin shore. Um, and the Upper Peninsula and Michigan Shore, but we do not have breeze here along the rum line through the Manitou Passage and so forth. Interesting to me is whether someone is going to be able to get into this breeze right here and keep moving, even though they're sending a lot of extra miles, keep moving, whilst people who try to go through here are not going to be able to move or won't move as fast. And, you know, you play that through, this trend continues. So when you think about social being here, we're right by the coast. Wow, that's an interesting strategic play, or anyone on the left-hand side of the fleet is a really interesting strategic play here, as the wind stays very, very light, um, you know, through sort of uh, the Point Betsy area, Manitou Passages, Manitou Passage and Sleeping Bear Dunes. So I'm just going to fast forward and highlight two things, because I'm going to check in with you guys again later in the day. As we go forward to about, uh, this would be about 5 p.m., uh, wind continues on the Wisconsin shore. Notice we're starting to get uh, more breeze just in general across the lake. And um, as we go forward through tonight, we get more of a southerly and even a southerly gradient starting to fill in. You can see the pressure starting to increase really in general across the lake. I'm just going to fast forward us into into Monday, and you can see that gradient building even more. And, well, you know, boats will start to finish. It isn't going to be the fastest race ever. The boats are really going to get, get moving at this point um, as it fills in across the race course and, you know, continues to do so. This is 10 a.m. on Monday morning, and I expect people to be really booking um, by this time. But the question is today along this uh, Wisconsin shore, Upper Peninsula, Michigan shore, is someone going to benefit from what appears to be bigger, bigger breeze over there? Um, or like is even the whole fleet shooting for that side of the lake, which would be really incredible. Um, it's something I've never seen in a Mac race before. One other thing I want to show you real quick, I'm just going to back this up and then I'll let you go, is uh, 
I talked last night about the possibility of storms across the northern part, part of a lake. This is a simulated radar. This is for tonight um, into early tomorrow morning. This is now tomorrow morning at about 5 a.m. It doesn't look anywhere near as nasty as it did in previous model runs. Um, and uh, National Weather Service uh, Storm Prediction Center is backing off it too. We're certainly going to keep an eye on it. Here's another set of storms in, in, on Monday night, if there's any racers left out there on Monday night. Um, we're certainly going to keep an eye on it. Um, it doesn't look severe at this point. It looks like some people could get wet. And, um, you know, at the, we don't really have a, a ton of concerns at this point, but we're monitoring it. Uh, so that's the race situation. And uh, look forward to catching everyone sort of midday today with another update. Thanks.